Well, hello there, you two, and welcome to Friday the 29th of December. It's New Year's Eve Eve. <laughs> it's like uh, 46, 47 out here. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe 10 after. And um, kind of like going to run to Chehalis. going to hit Home Depot on, uh, you know, those black and yellow shelves I have in the in the corner of the shop. I'm gonna get another one of those and I'm gonna set it probably behind where the Road King is sitting right there. And um, that's where I'm gonna put those RC cars. And the uh, the Traxxas TRX4 Sport, the pickup truck, that suspension was off by two miles. Oh man, does that thing drive better now. I knew there was something drastically different between the Bronco and in that truck and uh yeah it had like zero sag so i went from the 30 weight stock oil to uh put some associated because that's all i <laughs> that's all i had and 10 weight put some 10 weight 10 weight shock oil from associated and uh set the suspension sag to quarter of its throw or one third of its throw man what a shocking difference it, it's a completely different truck it's pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to bail out and head towards Schwahelis. This woman forced me to pull into this place. There wasn't much forcing. Because <laughs> you want to go to Burger King? Yes. <laughs> yes. I've been dying for a chicken sandwich. We stopped a little hobby store um, over in Shea. Well, we're still in Schwahelis, but that's kind of cool. A little small, mm -hmm. little cute thing. It was. And I got some ball headed. Can you pull that package out? Yeah. These little ball headed. Uh, Aren't those cool? Yeah. And at first I thought, well, it doesn't have the quarter inch thing for attaching it to a tool. And Kelly and I were talking, yeah, you don't want to put a tool on a ball head. No, that means You can either. Anger. Yep. <laughs> either strip the head of the Allen you're trying to get out or worse. And I do mean heavy on the worst side. Is you break the ball off in it. Yeah, that's not good. You can't drill it. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, that's messed <laughs> up. All right, Mom, well, let's go grab a bite to eat, even though it is, what is it? Oh, my Lord, it's four minutes to four. Yes. It'll be dark by the time we get done. I know it. Although we are 11 minutes ahead on sunset, we're going the other direction. Yes, we are. Heck yeah. All right, let's go. Oh. That gum Home Depot. But, Mama, the cool thing is, She's getting all crafty, crafty with uh, with RC car track stuff. So I've been paying attention to those little one sixteen cool scale ones, right? cars, you know. And they had a whole little display in that hobby store. Yeah, they had a table sitting there that was probably what six feet long and maybe four feet wide, yeah. and a serious the little micros. Oh, yeah. You can even get the track, like the Traxxas Bronco. There's a, it's called the uh, TRX4M mm -hmm. for micro. Those little cars are so cool and they're really inexpensive. Yeah. Kelly's yeah. going, yeah, I got some ideas now. Yeah. They had a really cool track on the table. Rocks and. Yeah. It just reminds me of some little train set you have in a back bedroom type of thing, you know. know. <laughs> but you use them little micros. Them little cars are so adorable. <laughs> All right, Mo. I don't know what time it is. It's, oh, my watch. Good Lord, it's quarter to six. Yep. What the heck happened to this day? It went away. <laughs> well, hello, Acura. <laughs> she says, hello. How are you today? Home Depot. Store. Hobby stores and Home Depot, two bad things. Yeah. But we did get the, I don't even know how you can turn the yeah. dome lights on in here. How do you? Open a door. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see, see it. It's another one of those, exactly the same, those black and white shells. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. All right, Mom. Let's, right. let's head south for a change. Yes. Well, we do that every morning going to work, but yeah. south on we're north of our home, so we're going south to home. That's yep. what I was trying to make. Just couldn't get it all out. All right. <laughs>
Holy moly. What happened to all the RC cars? Oh, there's a controller out here, though. <laughs> Look how much water that Acura collects. I mean, it was pouring down rain, but dang. But it all just runs out. I had an air hose out here, so the air hose was guiding it around, shooting it through here. It's taking a different path. But it all just drains and falls outside that door. But about the RCs, let's go. Let's kind of roam around over here. That is all the ones I have that are running now. I probably got about a half a dozen or so more that are literally in pieces. <laughs> I didn't clean any of them. You know, I've been bringing them out and cleaning them. This is the one I got for the kids. I had to find a bushing and a wheel nut just so I can bring the thing out here. And then I get it out here and I realize that left front shock is not attached and uh, has no spring on it. I got that thing pretty much for the kids because if you guys ever been around and had anyone that had a black foot or any of those, these ones with that really peculiar frame, um, you just you just can't hurt these things. Typical Tamiya stuff. But um, there's the GT, the Losi, the Rustler. Oh, this is my Nitro Revo. Dug that thing out. Let's turn the light on. That thing is sideways fast. Look how the suspension's in that thing. It's like a modern indie car type stuff. That thing is bad to the bone. There's the rear suspension. How dirty that air filter is from the last time I rode it. Obviously, I didn't clean it. Man, that thing is bad to the bone. <laughs> so, oh, talking about race ag. Check this thing out. Watch. And I mean, that thing flies. That's my Claude Buster. Dual engines. Front and rear steer. And I had two battery packs on it just to make the thing live. If you can look up in there, you can see the, the fan. I just went to a computer store, found the fan. That's blowing at the, <laughs> the SC speed controller. Jeez, man, I'd hate to think the hours on this thing. And this one's got a bunch of aftermarket stuff on it too, the shocks. And I think most of like suspension stuff was all like tracks of stuff. This is from different companies on this thing. I put all the billet suspension arms and all that stuff on it. That thing's bad. I mean, that thing is bad to the bone. The exhaust hanging out, the muffler's blue. And fast, mind-numbingly fast. And it'll literally fly over and just go over anything. It's pretty crazy. That thing is absolutely nuts. But I'm, I'm assuming the speed controller and stuff is wherever all the other speed controllers are. And it has electric starter that you, you stick inside there. And it the starter also actuates the, uh, the glow plug. So you don't have to have a separate glow plug on it. Yeah, even... Yeah, there's the gas inlet right there. I always put those zip tie things on there. You can just kind of roll that zip tie in your hand. And um, because you're trying to hold the thing and it just works better that way. These are the two stadium trucks. I apologize for the mess. The two stadium trucks. And look at the race sag in this one. Basically nothing. It's just the loose Tamaya. Oh, that left side is actually loose, loose, isn't it? But yeah, there's no. It's, it's got suspension, but it has shorter shocks and stuff. I set this one up to uh, to race 
on on blacktop and fast holy moly you can see i even lowered the body you can see how the clips are sitting in different places on it the body's all lowered and fast unbelievably fast and ward tires right off of that thing <laughs> it's pretty crazy huh what does that thing need to be clean this one i have a buggy a tamaya buggy that's just a play buggy well i messed around put some shocks i don't even know what it's called put some shocks on it and i took it out to that racetrack oh what are you guys uh we figured out where that thing was the start i think it's 30 second and start if you look on google maps now there's houses out there but that is race sag rear is the same i took this thing out on that track and you're talking about getting a crowd of people showing up because these aren't supposed to go fast and you're not supposed to be able to run them on a track i'm flying over jumps you can see it's the bodies come apart on it and stuff <laughs> She, she's been a uh, she's been run hard and put away wet, but that thing oh, it handles so good. And even riding this thing on the street, you get a lot of body roll. It's like you know taking a you know like a stadium, a real stadium truck, and racing on a road course. You know how the body tweaks and does all kinds of weird stuff. That's what that thing does. But I think all the all the shafts are all the aftermarket metal stuff. See, I put all kinds of fancy stuff in it. I didn't do any. I don't even know if they're even available then, these aftermarket suspension arms. It, it, it's one of those things, the suspension and the motor and the electronics was key. And this thing just flies. And it's it's all-wheel drive. This one's all-wheel drive as well. But, uh, yeah, it, it would handle a track. You get that suspension right, and you can run these things on a racetrack. See, this is just stock. There's no no sag. It's got all kinds of suspension, but no sag. That's just, I think sag, because you remember that? <laughs> Looked like all the oil had leaked out of the shocks on that. The old Clod Buster, the old Nitro Revo, the E-Revo that came out like a couple years after this one is definitely a, a faster and they're just easy nowadays. I mean, you just don't mess with the gas trucks anymore. But dang, holy moly, that thing's fast. <laughs> Stadium trucks. That one's crazy. That one's crazy. That one's crazy. That buggy, it's in pieces. And I don't even know. I don't even, I don't remember what the model of it was called, but it just had kind of an indie car look to it. But it was a dirt buggy had the weirdest tires it had these little pointy things on it it was it was so like old japanese horror movie looking stuff you know and uh i i run that thing on that track with those tires the only thing i did was the suspension was just stock tires and these are just aftermarket wheels that are on there i just wanted something to have the diameter where it was and the width of a, you know, flat street tires and stuff. Good times, man. This has been a week of memories. Oh, and that, Kelly, I think I talked about that in the beginning of the vlog. I got the race ag. Uh, we're already calling that Kelly's truck for some reason. She's all into this thing, man. She's in there. We're looking at that, the little micros, the Traxxas micros. And um, it's cool they even have a little Bronco version of that thing, too. But that course they had set up on that table, that was impressive. And both of us are going, we should have taken a picture of it. Kelly goes, I was thinking about it, but they kept watching me. They probably didn't know who we are and just, you know, how things are nowadays. People keep an eye on you, you know. Because the regular Joe pub public off the street just comes in and takes your stuff. Look at all these things I converted them. Didn't drive back. That one I didn't. But yeah, I got the steel. I don't remember doing all that. That one definitely does. That one must have a shock leak because I see oil all around the drive shaft area. But yeah, I got the sag set on her truck and it is so magical. 
I think they're doing that right out of the gate with that Bronco because that Bronco handles totally, totally different. And now the truck handles like the night or like the uh, Bronco. Man, suspension is everything. Same with your motorcycles. And if you want them to perform well, spend some time. You don't have to like on that, the uh, Traxxas TRX4 Sport. It's stock shocks. Nothing fancy, nothing special. But yeah, I need to get these things going. So of you guys going, you get those things going. I know. <laughs> Just running out of time as the day goes on, you know. The Jeep Wrangler. What do you think, Arrow Road Team? What do you think of my little hobby sitting next to you? Oh, you sweet old gal. Yeah, fun stuff. Oh, I built the shelf, by the way. <laughs> Even have a whole shelf at the bottom. And there's room on the top. That one had dirt and stuff that was falling out of it from underneath. So that was a piece out of that Honda generator box. And I go, um, that'll work as a as a dirt collecting shelf. How about that? Got my little my little hobby selection. I don't have the new the two TRX fours. Um we we're playing with those too much to have to go out to the shop to dig them out. <laughs> Kelly goes, you need to make a little shelf and get a battery charge station and stuff on there. I say, well, Kelly, with lipos, you you don't want to, like, get them going and then go inside the house. You guys ever seen or had a lipo go off on you? Yeah, that's like welding magnesium. You just got to wait for it to burn out. Lots and lots of water. But anyway, I think I'll call it on that. Poor little Z50, she lost her. Well, she didn't lose it. I can still put her over there. I just got her out of the way to get the shelf and stuff in there. <sighs> very, very peaceful. All right, go and bounce. Well, hello there, YouTube. Holy moly. It was pouring down rain here just a second ago. Yeah, All you hear is the gutters. And somebody's out there target practicing or something, probably getting all ready for tomorrow night. Yep. Making sure everything goes boom. Like goes boom and flies down range and whatever the heck they're doing out there. <laughs> Quarter after 10 at night. And what you doing out there in the dark? I have no idea. I don't know either. Yeah, that makes all any dogs that are out come rushing to the door. Yeah, they're already <laughs> all inside. But we were thoroughly bums again today. Actually, I got mm -hmm. two that projects. I wanted to, the suspension on the uh, sport and then get that shelf done and dig the rest of the runnable not running but runnable um rc cars out there yeah you just we'll get, gotta get bug yeah there's this little volkswagen bug she loves to death but i think that thing's literally in pieces so uh, you gotta uh, put it back together that's your yeah. job i don't know i don't even remember why i took it apart and that little race buggy thing i did as well but anyway i think on that we're gonna roll out on you Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. Till tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.